<laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, Jonathan Grummer here, and uh, I've been looking up some some of community fishing lakes here in Tarrant County, Texas, USA, and. Uh, I'm here at the Keller Town Hall uh, Pond. A few weeks ago I was here trying to catch fish. I haven't caught a fish here, but there's some big bass in here that have been stocked in here, and I want to try and catch, catch me some fish and get my reel on and go fishing. Uh, but I wanted to share something with y'all. Recently I, I was asking, actually last night I was in bed and uh, I was like God how is it that people can overcome by the blood of the lamb and then uh, when I asked that question I looked up that's a verse and it's in uh, it's in Revelation book, the book of Revelation 12 uh, verse 11 which says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto the death I would encourage you to go and read that whole chapter and get it in context and uh if you want to send me any comments underneath the video, uh, feel free to, to comment on that or on anything. So uh, that's it. Again, my name is Jonathan Grummer. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and click the bell. So stay tuned. Let's get your reel on. And let's go fishing. Hi folks, this is Jonathan Grummer again, and this is day two, and I'm out here at the Keller Town Hall, and uh, I'm not going to let this pond defeat me. I'm going to try and, and uh, fish this pond with, th with this bait. This is my most confident bait. This uh, soft plastic minnow swim bait and uh, I'm just gonna work the whole bank doing the fan pattern and uh, we'll see if I, I get anything it looks like the water is still pretty clear uh, some we had a thunderstorm and we're supposed to have thunderstorms all day today and uh, and uh, <laughs> we're supposed to have thunderstorms all day today and there's a little lull right now I'm I'm just gonna fish this and hopefully we I, I catch a fish with this bait and I can show it on the video and I just saw something boil up right right there where the rod tip is pointing probably a turtle. But uh, it seems 
that I've only caught fish in the most extreme weather conditions. And quite honestly, the last fish that I caught was probably a month ago when it was 22 degrees outside. And I caught that, that three pound bass out of that little bitty pond in South Lake. And it looks like the water level is up a little bit. Ooh. Well, no. <laughs> Thought I had something there. I'm going to try that again right there. Morning. Pretty crazy for me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they've been they've been lying on the beds for about a month now. Uh-huh. Here. And I I haven't caught anything. Whoa, sorry. That's right. Um but uh <laughs> But yeah, it's <laughs> Well <laughs> Well I appreciate that. <laughs> well for that, okay, this this sorry, this is a card from my, my church. We're having Easter services uh -huh. there on the back. If if you wanna come, feel free to come. Okay. There we have several campuses all over here in Dallas County. Uh -huh. So, what's your name? Les. Les? Les, L-E-S. L-E-S, Jonathan. Jonathan. Nice Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So, but yeah, I, I, I can't stand it when I fish a pond and I don't catch anything. I've been fishing this first time. Oh. <laughs> first time uh, I fished this was probably about a month and a half ago uh -huh. and I you could I saw all the fish laying on their beds uh -huh. up in the shallows here I even like put jigs and stuff on their beds and try to get them to bite and uh -huh. nothing people were people all of the all the other other people were catching them but me really but I'm gonna Apparently it wasn't your day no, my month. Uh, that pond right over there, I was sitting over there last night. Uh-huh. The next pond over, across the bridge, and uh, man, it had to have been a two-pound bass that jumped out of the water. <laughs> it, <what? laughs> I was wondering if any fish were in there, and I found out. Well, the, on the, this, this pond is actually on the uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife website. Is it? And, uh... You can look up the stocking history, uh -huh. and they stocked some Florida bass in here, which are more aggressive than the Texas bass, back in '09. So they've had some years to to spawn and get yeah. big. Yeah. So. It was a good size one. Yeah. Yeah, he made a hell of a splash. I was impressed. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <sighs> but that looks like we're gonna get more rain today, huh? Well it the weather channel saying all all day, even into like tomorrow. It's sort of hit and miss on and off. Yeah. It didn't look like a, a big event coming. Looked like the big event was uh, around Lubbock. Huh. They uh 
be on the radar. Okay. Oh yeah, it looks look like it's going to get real ugly over that way. Yeah. Yeah, further west. But uh, it looked like we weren't going to do too bad here. Yeah. So, inch or two, that's, to me, that's like a drizzle. Yeah. But I'm from the northwest, so. Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Washington, so Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. So rain doesn't. Uh, and I've worked outside so much in the rain. It just, you know, when you work in the rain, it really doesn't. You know, it, yeah, it's it's not a pleasant day, but you know, you do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this looks like a good spot. It, I think it is. I mean, I've seen people, other people catch fish here. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's got to be fish in there. Like you see, you've seen them. Oh, yeah. They're they're on the beds. You, you just go around and you see, like, a circle where where the the color of the bottom changes. Uh-huh. And that's a bed. And you, most of the time, you throw it in that bed and you just kind of, when it comes up, when the bass comes up on it, you kind of jiggle it. And they can't stand that, so they they they'll hit it. But time, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, it runs like that sometimes. But, yeah. My wife always outfishes me. I think I've outfished well, her once. Why? Women always. I know it, man. They always they catch the bigger fish. They're the first one to catch. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah, it's a big joke to her. <laughs> Yeah, just let me catch more this time. It's all good. He always catches a lot of fish. Oh, I hear thunder. Maybe we'll get some lightning and I'll catch fish while it's lightning. Oh, yeah. I've done that before. There's a... You never know. The, what's what's going to make them bite? Okay. Yeah, it's been pretty cool, too, so, you know, they might... They might still be sort of docile from the winter. You know, uh -huh. not really getting active yet. But uh, good weather's coming, so they got to get active, you know. Probably in about a week or so. Yeah, as soon as the water what? warms up a little bit, they start moving around a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe your luck will change. Hopefully. Yeah. What's your shirt say? Well, <laughs> that's interesting you ask. You're from Oregon, so it's... it's oh, well. North, Northeast Tarrant Tea Party. Yeah. They, they, I go to their meetings uh -huh. um, once a month on a Monday, the first month, the second Monday of each month at the North Richland Hill Center. Yeah. But I'm always up for a tea party, especially the kind in Boston. <laughs> the yeah. Boston Tea Party. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What, 200 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm down for that. <laughs> I, I am too. Hey, somebody's got to make the hard decision. Huh? Yeah, I'm okay with it. Bother me in the least. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're from Oregon. What brought you to Texas? <laughs> so. Oh, my, uh, well, my mother and my uh, brother live here now, and I've got... My ancestors date back to Sam Houston time. Oh. Yeah. Cool. We, we've got our own cemetery in Honey Grove. Really? Yeah, with, with my ancestors buried in it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Come back home. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like Texas. Yeah. It's a great state. But, uh, yep. Now I, well, I was, my dad moved to California, so of course I didn't have much choice in that matter. So that's where I was born. And he moved to Idaho, and uh, I followed him up there. Wow. I met my wife in Oregon. And Anywhere near Haley, Idaho? Uh, no, no, just outside of Boise. Yeah, Parma. It's just a small farming community, huh. right near the Oregon border. Yeah, well, where I live in Oregon, it's uh, it's a little bit different. We're on the opposite end of the state from the coast. 
Uh huh. So, you know, we don't have the uh, democratic, or, I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but liberal views. Uh huh. You know, that we got a little bit different view of things over, yeah. over on our side of the state. We're, I'm familiar with that. Yeah, we're uh, a lot of farmers, you know, kind of over where I live. It's amazing how the, 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 the country, a lot of the country people are more conservative leaning than the city folks. Yeah, so. well they do. You know, they call it like they see it. If it's nonsense, it's nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, there's <laughs> not a lot of gray areas. No. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I just out here clearing my head for that reason. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I try not to, you know. I I pray, so yeah. you know, you know. I read the I read the Bible and and I come outdoors and I, I'm I'm pretty active with this group. Yeah. Um, but uh, the prayer and the coming outdoors helps me to the balance that out. Because yeah. there's, I, I'm I'm sure you're aware of it, but there's a lot of corruption. Yeah. And. And what's funny is several years ago, back like 09, 010, well, 2010, um, I was like, God, what, why is this, why, is, why am I seeing so much corruption everywhere? And there's, a, there's actually, and I'm not trying to be mean here, but there's a verse that says, um, God, uh, God will exalt the nations uh, in righteousness. So, it, it's in Proverbs. What is it? Uh, no. He who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. And uh, that's the verse I was led to in prayer over the country. And it, it, it was like God was showing me that when a nation sows to, the, to their flesh and not to God's will, God's righteousness, that corruption is going to come in. And that's that, we, this nation needs to return to Him, Him, in, in a relationship with Him. And uh, that will, that will, there's going to be people that have liberal views and conservative views yeah. uh, and that's okay but when it gets to the extremes and, and you're you know like you're you le you're letting letting go of God and and sowing everything to yourself and not blessing others yeah. and I, I I actually pray about this when I go out I, I I have cards for my church and I I go fishing and then people like I'm like God if you want to send somebody over and just talk to me feel free to do that and he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's, and it, it, the the conversation always leads to me preaching to them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I always like I'm a good listener. I always like hearing what people have to say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like a you know a fresh point of view on things. Yeah, it keeps your mind active and you know what's going on. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, if we just live by the. Uh, Ten Commandments. I, I would be very happy. That would stop a lot of the problems. Um, yeah, but I'm going to say this. We can't keep those commandments except through a relationship with Jesus. Absolutely, yeah. And in our relationship with Him in our time of pr prayer and, and reading His Word and, and singing to Him... That's okay. Uh, he will, through all those things, he will begin to work a relationship with with his children who say, here I am, God, use me, you know.
and he loves that and he loves us so that's why <laughs> that's why he died on the cross so that we can have our relationship with with the father through his son yeah. and if you believe in uh, if you believe in that then you're you're on your way to everlasting life amen yeah. all right brother i'm gonna get going man god bless you need any prayer or anything or uh, i'm good right now man just what we had to say was that, that's good for me okay but yeah i want to get back before it starts raining i don't want to get wet okay yeah, I got Okay. God bless. Try this tree here. <laughs> wow, it's funny. Put my hoodie up again. Do I? Oh, no. Uh. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures. Here below, praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> so much for this. So folks, um, lots of rain today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. And uh, start a new video sometime in the future. From here, I'm gonna keep fishing this lake until I catch something. So I'm not going to move to other lakes or ponds or whatever until I've caught something at this pond. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell. Appreciate it. Thanks and God bless. One moment. <laughs> Put your reel on and let's go fishing. <laughs>